I am Saurabh Mukhevar from Department of Gastroenterology and Hepatology at Mayo Clinic, Rochester. I am presenting this study on behalf of my co-authors, Dr. Todd Barron, Dr. Arjun Gupta, Dr. Greg Gors from Department of Gastroenterology and Hepatology, and Dr. Keith Furutani, Dr. Michael Haddock, and Dr. Christopher Hollemeyer from Department of Radiation Oncology at Mayo Clinic, Rochester. The title of our study is Endoscopically Placed Nasobiliary Catheters for High Dose Rate Brachytherapy as part of New Adjuvant Therapy for Perihaler Cholangiocarcinoma. Overall, patients with cholangiocarcinoma have poor prognosis with a 5-year survival rate of about 10%. If diagnosed early, surgical resection can be curative. However, this is often precluded by local regional spread. At our institution, select patients with unresectable perihilar cholangiocarcinoma undergo neoadjuvant chemoradiation therapy followed by liver transplantation. As part of this protocol, patients undergo biliary brachytherapy, which requires endoscopic placement of nasobiliary tubes and brachytherapy catheters. We previously reported our experience with endoscopically placed brachytherapy catheters for low dose rate brachytherapy. Since 2009, we have used high dose rate brachytherapy for a number of logistical and safety advantages. In this series, we describe changes in our methodology and report our experience in 40 patients with endoscopically placed nasobiliary tubes with delivery of high dose rate brachytherapy. Overall, we noted lower complication rates with high dose rate brachytherapy. Gastric or duodenal mucosal inflammation was seen in about 20% and catheter displacement also occurred in 20% of these patients. Compare this to our previous study where mucosal inflammation occurred in 40% and catheter displacement occurred in 34% with low dose rate brachytherapy. These findings highlight one of the advantages of high dose rate brachytherapy technique wherein catheter position is verified immediately prior to treatment and it takes only 5 to 10 minutes for administrative treatment as opposed to 24 hours with low dose rate brachytherapy.